get straight over to John because I know we've got so many demonstrations to show. This, John, I think is one of the best inventions. Yeah, because it's small, it's simple, compact, quick and convenient. So it's actually, you've got two discs. You've got a coarse disc, you've got a fine disc. And I've just opened up now the uh, little multi grater from the big brand of Piranha. This is your pusher here, okay? So this is what you push your ingredients onto the disc. Now this is safe for the children to use, really easy to assemble. This is the barrel, okay, the stainless steel part. And this black part here is your divider. You've got a dividing wall that we can see inside there. So what you can do is divide the ingredients. Now, you put the coarse disc facing up, so the, 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 you know, the smooth side's facing out, and it's secured and locked in by this little pin, okay? So it's really easy to assemble, really easy to use, and you can use it for just about any type of, you know, grating. Anything you would normally grate on a regular sized, uh, regular box grater, just pop it in. So here we've got our red Lester, Haley. So I'm gonna put four or five little blocks of red Lester inside there. And on the other side, I'm going to put in four or See, five that's blocks. That's clever, yeah? Yes, yeah, okay. so you can mix and match the yeah. cheeses. But cheese, chocolate, biscuits, and all you've got to do, it's a little bit like a pepper mill, whether you're left or right-handed, just twist, okay? Pop it on the table. The guests can grate their own cheese, whether you're doing red Leicester, whether you're doing mild cheddar, whether you're doing something like um, feta cheese, and also fabulous for that hard cheese in Parmesan. And how much do we pay for pre-grated? So all you're doing, a little bit like a pepper mill once again, just twist and turn, all dishwasher safe, top rack of the dishwasher. Remember, you've got a coarse disc, you've got a fine disc as well. But think about how many times, you know, you grate your finger, your nail and your knuckle. knuckle. So that was the cheese. Or eat the last bit of cheese because you can't grate it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And, and if you're on a bit of a diet, Baby it's a nightmare, isn't line. it? Yeah, okay? it, absolutely. But, you know, whether you're grating cheese or whether you're doing something like a sweet treat, it doesn't matter. Now, let me just show you, this is the coarse disc here. Okay, so you've got a smooth side. And you've also got the coarse side. This is the coarse side. So, of course, the coarse side faces upwards inside your multi grater. Now, I'm going to use the fine uh, disc here. I've already got it preloaded. So, in one side, I'm going to put my bourbon biscuits like this. I'm just going to snap it in half like so. Okay, again, left or right handed, it makes no difference. And my M&M's down the divider. Okay, now what you can do, of course, and you see that little slot on the pusher here. What that does, that slots into the divider, okay? So you just line it up, pop it over the top, and again, you just simply twist. Now, you don't have to use two, obviously, different ingredients. You can put ingre the same ingredients down both sides of the barrel. Fabulous over the ice cream. Remember, you don't just turn this, you twist and turn back and forth. But this is brilliant for those ice cream sundaes. If you're doing a cake, uh, if you're a baker, you'll love this. Again, you can do your own flurry you know, absolutely wonderful for things like nuts, whether you're doing crumbs, uh, yes. sorry, uh, you know, um, breadcrumbs rather, whether you're doing crackers. Again, the Parmesan, which I'll show you in just a second's time, is absolutely brilliant, especially if you're entertaining guests. Now they can grate their own Parmesan, directly their own, you know, spaghetti bolognese or whatever you're doing. Now, eggs are a nightmare. Have you ever tried to grate, keyword grate an egg on a regular grater? difficult you end up mushing and mashing it and they come up really you know uh, sticky on those traditional box graters so again what we're going to do make sure that eggs are hard boiled by the way otherwise they come out runny okay at the bottom so we're going to slot that over that little divider absolutely brilliant for the kids to use again you've got no battery to buy no motors to burn out dishwasher safe top rack of the dishwasher again left or right handed you don't need brute strength force or pressure as long as you can see on the camera there you can twist your hand a little bit like a, using a pepper mill you know the traditional pepper mills so let's take that pusher out let's pop another egg inside there That's so again cool. Haley, what you could do if you wanted to is pop another ingredient down the side of the barrel because you've got that divider. Yeah. So you can do two different ingredients at the same time. So like I did with the cheese a few seconds ago, you can have your mild cheddar down one side. And of course, then what you could do is have your red Leicester down the other. Now you've got, you've got two, two different graters. You've got your coarse grater, your fine grater, and don't forget, you've also got that fridge cap. So if you're doing cheese, let's go to the cheese. That's enough egg for now. If you're doing cheese, <clears throat> Rather than, you know, um, waste the cheese or, you know, uh, throw the last little bit of whey, what we do, we leave the cheese inside the multigrater, and then 
we pop this little fridge cap on. So that keeps the fr Brilliant. food, you know, fresh inside the little multigrater. Having two, that's a great idea. You can always have one in the fridge with your cheese in and then have one that you're using as your multigrater, you know, throughout the kitchen. Great for the camper van, great for yeah. the caravan, the motorhome. If you're going camping, obviously you don't need no electric for this. Doesn't take up a lot of space at all. And again, any, anything that you would normally grate on a regular four-sided tin grater, I like to call them nail graters and knuckle busters, <laughs> as long as it fits inside the multigrater, remember you don't get one, but you get two. A great little gift idea, you can grate. So whether you're doing something like Italian meatballs, whether you're doing something like a carbonara spag bol, anything of that nature, a Caesar salad, lovely, light and fluffy. And also, you know when you buy the pre-shaved Parmesan in the supermarket, it does co cost quite a lot of money. Now you shave it yourself, again, you waste less and you eat more. And what about the nuts? So again, if you're a bit of a keen baker, you can do the nuts inside here. Now what I'm going to do is pop some walnuts down one side of the, uh, the divider like so, and some pecans down the other side, okay? So remember, only load this about three quarters full, and that way it will enable you to pop the pusher on the top. It is from that big brand of Prana. It's a little bit like, remember, you've got two discs. You've got your coarse disc, you've got your fine disc. Really, really easy to assemble. Really, really easy to operate. Again, I'm naturally left-handed, but I'm actually twisting this with my right hand, but a good little tip, don't just turn around like I'm doing here, okay? Don't just do this, because it doesn't work as effective. You simply go back and, back and forth. forth yeah. And remember, you've got that fridge cap. Um, again, really, really easy to clean, and you just simply twist and turn. So nuts, cheese, chocolate, biscuits, uh, bread for breadcrumbs. Now, what you can do, you could use stale bread, or you could use toast, but actually, let me just move this out of the way so you can see clearly. I'm gonna put in here fresh bread, okay? Now, if I just tear that bread into half and then pop it down one side of the barrel, and because the bread is fresh, to dry the bread out, I'm going to put in about half a cracker. I've already got a few crackers inside there, okay? So remember, only fill it around about three quarters full, and that way you can get that pusher on the top. And you've got, you can see that little secure pin twisting on the bottom. You can see the mechanics of it there. So if you look on the plate now, you can see the volume of the bread and the crackers coming out. So cheese, chocolate, biscuits, nuts. You can do, you know, certain types of fruits and vegetables. Of course, it has to fit inside the multigrater. I must say, it's got a very, very small footprint. It's about, actually, it's probably a little bit smaller in diet, diameter than a regular sized coffee cup. And inside this one, I'm only gonna put digestives. Again, if you're doing a, a cheesecake or anything of that nature, pop your biscuit inside, obviously just sort of split it, okay? Pop that pusher on the top and just simply twist and turn. But you've got the ability to coarse or fine grate, it makes no difference. Pop it on the countertop, on the tabletop rather, excuse me, and that way the guests can grate their own cheese, their own chocolate, over their own dessert, their ice cream. Depends what you're doing, of course. And again, it doesn't matter what you're doing, as long as it fits inside, anything that you would normally grate on a regular four-sided tin grater, a box grater, you can do in here. And there's that little pin I was referring to. The outside is smooth, but the inside, obviously, that's where the abrasive part is. That's what does all the grating. And then when you finish, especially with anything that you normally pop in the fridge, just simply pop that little fridge cap on, Fabulous. and that is it. But you don't get one, you get two. Great little gift idea, compact, small, convenient, and it's dead easy to use as well, really easy. Really is, we're busy on this all.